for heaven's sake, take a stand. For goodness sake, keep moving. Which one is it? We know that the name of a portion we read on Shabbat encapsulates the idea, the central theme, the message of what that Shabbat is all about. Well, we read two readings this Shabbat, a week before Rosh Hashanah, the first of which is called Nitzavim, which means to stand firm, to stand strong. The second portion is called Vayelech. Vayelech means keep going, move, grow, develop. So what is God's advice to us a week before Rosh Hashanah? Are we meant to be digging in or are we meant to be aspiring and growing and reaching for the beyond? We don't have a contradictory instruction. We have two very important ingredients as we enter into Rosh Hashanah. The first of which is to know our principles, to know what our bottom lines are, to know the framework within which we operate that is clearly defined by Torah values. We know that there are 613 commandments. There's a clear message how we to live our lives. But even as we are so concrete in our ideology, knowing exactly what is the priority, we cannot allow ourselves to become stale. We cannot make a day a replica of the day before it. Every single day has to usher in creativity, energy, growth, development, something fresh that makes all of those principles of our life alive, alive with joy and with happiness and with growth. So in our relationships, we have absolute clarity in our commitments to our children, to our spouse. We know that there are absolute commitments of love, devotion. This is where I belong. This relationship is absolute. But I can never allow it to become tired, to simply rely on yesterday, to allow the relationship to become stale because we haven't worked on developing it into a new realm, a new possibility, new growth for all of the relationships of our lives. And when we confront the realities of our lives and we are standing before Rosh Hashanah, looking at how we can grow and how we can enter into, into a new year with newfound strength, we need to think about our relationship with Hashem, with the Torah, with mitzvot, with shul. There are principles that cannot be sidelined, that cannot be compromised. They define us. This is who I am as a Jew, and this is what I stand for. And I will never compromise those values. But even as we are so committed to the strength of those absolutes in our lives, let us look towards a new year so that it becomes a new year, not just another year. A year in which we grow and we develop and we find new ways to fire our souls and our hearts, our families, our children, with newfound enthusiasm, newfound excitement. So the frame that is absolute in our lives is filled with color, with texture, with new possibilities. May Hashem allow us to take the stand we need to stand and allow us to walk the walk that waits for us.